Well, you know, if you virtue signal, you don't have to do anything. Right. You could just pat yourself on the back, consider yourself superior, uh, look down your nose at other people, but you never have to take any action. You don't have to think about the uh, role you might play in uh, uh, processes that are unjust. Um, and uh, so, and you'd have to, I mean, God forbid, you'd have to think about uh, uh, what you do and what, how you should change the system. So that's, it's the easiest thing in the world just to consider uh, oneself a superior being and to think that you live in this bubble of, uh, of, of great intelligence and superiority. Uh, so I, I think that's, um, that's uh, the, the problem. But, you know, King talked about, he talked about the, the white moderate and he wrote the letter from the Birmingham jail and all the people who uh, said, well, now's not the time or this isn't the day to demonstrate or uh, those those people, uh, they're still doing that, by the way. Some of the well, didn't Hillary just give that quote? Didn't Hillary just say that? Yeah. Like, did she just oh. not say that quote? Which I honestly, I cannot <laughs> think of something more in like I, it's like I a, mean, we it, know we know that she's disconnected it's an from irony reality, of an but... irony of an irony like i i can't even think of anything more funny than that, <laughs> well, that, she, 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 that? yeah she uh, i you know hillary clinton what can we say she won't <laughs> die go away or or be quiet so um for her to 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 try i mean and, and what a horrible <laughs> example this this terrible person who's you know laughed about making war in libya and killing the president who um, uh, is actually very conservative. I, you know, if you remember when he first, Bill Clinton ran for president, she bragged about being a Goldwater girl in a, right. an effort to get conservatives to uh, uh, vote for her, who's, you know, talked about uh, bringing to heel. Uh, 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 Super black predators. Women. Yeah, she's, uh, uh, um, so of course she would say that and not get the iron. She's the most tone deaf um, ever. Uh, Politic. I mean, it's why she lost the presidency, Ever. frankly, to Trump. And but she's trying to come back. She and Bill are trying to put their oh, names out there again. It's never going to happen, Hillary. Never. No, she's no. been so bitter. <laughs> but it's the idea of her making any sort of comment about the white liberal or the white moderate. It's I mean, just all she hilarious. had to do if she wanted to. I mean, everybody right has got to get in on King. She could have said just a, you know injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. Some something nice and something plain vanilla and you know no. would have been okay. But no, no, no. She's uh, <laughs> got to pick something that's pointing directly at her. Something that indicts her and her entire and her husband and their entire uh, political careers. But but that's Hillary now. She's. Uh, I, I think it, it always spoke, well. Uh, it always spoke to who she is as a person because geez. whenever she talks about something, it's always about her. Uh, it's always yes. about me and when and what what I want. And it's this it's this whole I'm better than you. She's the dark you know, triad of personality. Uh, yeah, she is. It's narcissism, Machiavellianism, and psychopathy is the dark triad. And she, I cannot think of anybody who fits that more than her. Well, her, really you know, remember her campaign slogan was I'm with her, not I'm with you right. or I'm for you. It's like it was still about. Uh, it's still about, about her. Him. Yeah. And I it's mean, tone deaf anyway. Well, that's the that is the embodiment of, you know, that that liberal side of condescension and uh, air of superiority. And the sad truth is that there are tens of millions of people who embrace it and embody it. Um, no worse I would say what was so interesting is that the best and worst thing that could have happened during the Trump presidency basically happened at the same time. He axed the Trans-Pacific Partnership. That's probably the one signature thing he did as president that I absolutely 1,000% support. Yeah. But at the same time, you had a million mostly white suburbanite housewives marching with their pink hats on in <laughs> D.C. And all I'm thinking is... You're basically here right now on your own dime, marching because you hate this president. And I'm thinking, what if a million of you who actually have influence, you have means. March for health care. March for health care. March for the environment. Why the hell are you not out there doing that? Because they were able to make money on pink vagina hats. 
Uh, absolutely. It was, you know, I, I think it's, a, it's a, you know, we've been talking about January 6th. And one of the things I thought last year was, why is it the right wing that will march on the Capitol? And I'm not suggesting that the left do exactly what no, they did. Right. But we, I mean, to mobilize for anything. I mean, it was all about their feelings being hurt. Yes. And then when a Democrat comes into office and does what Trump does, you don't hear a peep out of them. It's even worse because they brush out. A corporate media is so in the bag for him, but they're really just, mm -hmm. in the, again, the problem is, is that the two biggest media centers in politics are D.C. and in New York, and 90 to 95 percent of them are Democrats. It's There is yes. not a... There, there is not an, you know, you're not allowed to have any other thought other than what is in the corporate interests of the neoliberal establishment. Everything. Paul Paglia opens his effing mouth today saying that we don't have bad leaders in the Democratic Party. We have bad followers. Oh. I, I mean, you're just letting, you're just, uh, just. This is why people are leaving. Just this is pull, why. Just pull off the mask already. Didn't just they pull learn from the deplorables comment? Like, they really well, that, don't learn. It's the same comment in I know, I know. Well, you know, the Democrat, the Democratic quote unquote leadership, these are people who uh, get into politics to make money. All the people who left uh, worked for Obama. Now they've got cushy jobs in, uh, in media or in corporations or with big tech. That's what they do. Uh, uh, Simone Sanders, who worked for Kamala Harris, it's funny, people uh, usually wait at least a year to jump ship, but now where's she going to MSNBC? Getting her own TV show. She yes, yes, of course. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our mission to transform politics into service, please like this video, subscribe, follow us on social media, and consider joining our Patreon, where you'll get early access to our interviews as well as other exclusive content. Links are in the description. Peace out.